the narrative is clear, there's a concerted effort to bring Bitcoin down. But who are they, and why are they so desperate for a crash? Let's start with the obvious suspects, traditional financial institutions. Banks, hedge funds, and governments have long viewed Bitcoin as a threat to their dominance. A decentralized, borderless currency that operates outside their control is a direct challenge to their power. A Bitcoin crash would not only bolster their position but also potentially discredit the entire cryptocurrency market. Then there are the short sellers. These investors profit from a decline in asset prices. They bet against Bitcoin, hoping its value will plummet. Naturally, they have a vested interest in spreading FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, to manipulate the market. But the motivations run deeper. Some analysts suggest that a powerful, shadowy cabal is manipulating the global financial system. They argue that Bitcoin's resilience undermines this system and exposes its vulnerabilities. A crash would serve as a powerful deterrent to further adoption of cryptocurrencies. It's essential to note that these are just theories. No concrete evidence definitively proves these claims. However, the persistent attacks on Bitcoin, from regulatory hurdles to negative media coverage, suggest a coordinated effort to suppress its growth. So, what can be done? Education is key. Understanding how Bitcoin works, its underlying technology, and its potential benefits is crucial. Ignoring FUD and focusing on the long-term vision of a decentralized financial system is equally important. Remember, Bitcoin has weathered numerous storms before. It's a resilient asset with a growing community of supporters. While the road ahead may be bumpy, the potential rewards for early adopters could be immense. Ultimately, the fate of Bitcoin lies in the hands of its users. By holding strong and spreading awareness, we can contribute to its continued success. Disclaimer, this information is intended for general knowledge and informational purposes only, and does not constitute financial advice. It's essential to conduct your own research before making any investment decisions. Would you like to explore any of these points further, or do you have other questions about Bitcoin?